Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 150, Ingenious Ways to Use Hurricanes and Other Glass Containers. You are going to be wowed today. I mean, ingenious oh, I is know. like... <laughs> we have the queen of the cloche here. Queen of the cloche. Mm. We, we, we like to keep her under glass. There you so go. <laughs> Not right now, though. We want her to talk about Yeah, it's hard to hear her under there. So we're going to lift it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. My new book. So my book, French Accents, thank you for bringing that up, Yvonne. Uh, it came out in 2015, but wow. the, the second edition is is not released yet, if you're listening to this the day it comes out, but it is available per, for pre-sale. So please uh, check it out, French Accents, Farmhouse French Style for today's home. It's on Amazon and it is available for pre-sale and this is the second edition. So, and if you have a first edition... Congratulations. It's no longer in print. So I guess that makes it a collector's item. <laughs> I don't go. know. Oh, my there goodness. Go. Yes. Oh, but I must say, if you have not have not read her book, either of the books, because Kelly has a book out, My Soulful Home, A Year in Flowers. Yes, which and is wonderful. Anita's um, French Accents. These are, they're beautiful, beautiful books to have in your decor library. And also just to have out, like, I love to put them in guest rooms. So so, you know, at night people can pick them up. They just say, oh, this is such a beautiful book. And I say, I know. <laughs> oh, Things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't even have to stand in line. You just go order it on Amazon. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. I have a little confession to make about today's episode, girl. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. When Should I we think- lower our voices? <laughs> no, you're, we're okay. Okay. When I think of the word hurricane, that makes, I think of, like something that's a little old fashioned. Well, Hurricane. I have but a confession really. too today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know how I love to put everything in a cloche? I know. Well, so a few years ago, a dear friend of ours, and I can't remember who, I think I, maybe it was Marty, she used to have a monthly event with other bloggers and it was <gasps> yes, a cloche yes. event and she'd have different, yes. was it Marty? Yes. Okay. So she would have different... A stroll through life. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so there would be a cloche event and you would have to put something in a cloche Mm -hmm. and then join her party. And it was, you know, everyone had something different. That was years ago. I know. But, you know, at the time I remember thinking, I don't want to put anything in a cloche. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking... It sounds so stressful. I have to figure... I have to decorate my house (laughs) and decorate this cloche. I remember thinking, no, this sounds like too oh, much like, work. Oh, like this is such a breeze. No, no. I remember thinking it's too much work. I'm not going to do it. I know. But now it's like, oh, yeah, throw that throw that plant. Under now the it's a breeze. Ta-da! But, then, but, but yes. it just felt like a stressful thing to me. And I mm-hmm. thought, oh, I don't want to do this. This doesn't sound like fun. Because I never could figure out what to put in the cloche. And now and, you're the cloche queen. Well, then what? Well, one of the things that helped me was when one of the magazines, actually, it was Country French Magazine, came here to photograph my house for their magazine. They took everything out of my cloches and just did a display of empty cloches. And I thought, hello, oh. you don't have to put anything in wow. there. The simplicity. Wow. You would have blown Marty out of the water. <laughs> I know. I Well, she, I would have been kicked out of her party, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing in there. No, there's air in there. You were there. just boiling it down mm-hmm. to the true cloche. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I'm, well, I'm, I'll tell you my all-time favorite thing to put in a cloche, and I'm not – I'm, and actually, I don't use cloches as much as I probably mm-hmm. should. Yeah, I do <laughs> love them. Besides Nobody that, probably does. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to put a nest in a cloche. Oh, great idea. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing the thing I really like to use the cloches for now that I'm really into them is, you know, if you're Stone Gable they and work- it's a season, you do your whole house top <laughs> to bottom. You're doing the full curtsy to the season. If you're Cedar now Hill Farmhouse, I do a nod to the and season. if you're Cedar Hill Farmhouse, you just tip your hat just a tad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just like doing little bits of seasonal mm-hmm. decor in my home, and the cloche is the perfect place to do that because mm-hmm. it's contained. And there's a lot of things that you can put in there that maybe don't sit flat on a table. Like for example, now. I've got green, green, uh, evergreens in there and pine cones. 
and nuts and, and things like that. So it's a great place to stuff some seasonal things that, and it, and it contains them kind of like a tray, how we say a tray contains, corrals, everything. corrals yep. thanks to your mm-hmm. items, the cloche corrals them even more so. But it even showcases them because anything under there glass. You like go. If you go exactly. to a bakery, if they have little cupcakes or little uh, tarts or pastries under glass, it just seems to be elevated. It okay. elevates it. Exactly. And that's the other thing I realized. It's like putting a piece of gorgeous artwork in an incredibly amazing frame. Mm-hmm. So it, what a frame is to artwork, the cloche is to whatever goes in it. And then when Whoa, people come in your Anita. house. See? And I all, but I also think if you, I look for like little tiny pedestals or things I can put, mm-hmm. yes. put something small on, like to elevate, mm-hmm. literally to elevate it. Yeah. And then I put like a little tiny pedestal and put a little bird's nest on it and put a cloche over it. <gasps> Looks so pretty. Perfection. Mm-hmm. Perfection oh, yeah. and so simplicity. Need- okay. So we dove mm-hmm. right under the cloche, but really today's um, episode is a little bit broader. We're going to talk about hurricanes yes. and glass containers, broader. which, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it encompasses the cloche. But I know we got all excited about putting a cloche over Anita and one mm-hmm. thing led to the other. But okay, let's just jump back to why Yvonne has a sense of old fashionedness mm-hmm. when she hears the word hurricane. Well, I don't know not why. so. I mean, I, I know better, but <laughs> I always think of those Williamsburg hurricanes that you put over your brass candlestick. Like oh, at my mother's right, house. right, 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 right. And right. that's well, they what were I very the, the curvy mm-hmm. ones mm-hmm. that were kind of fat around the waist. Yes, yes. they were very 1970s. <laughs> my mother around had the waist. them, <laughs> and. I agree. Those seem very 1970s to me. I have to agree, mm-hmm. but I love mm-hmm. these huge. I've got some. I guess you would call like them a cylinders. I love they're cylindrical. Those big they're thick cylinders. on the bottom, and yeah. I love filling them with a ton of candles. Maybe five, six candles, different heights. Yeah, they're great for that. Mm-hmm. And I think and they're yeah. extremely mm-hmm. beautiful. So I look for just the straight cylinders. Well, uh, and these no matter, cylinders, and, and some of them can be very big. I use them on the back porch at the farm and what the cylinder is wonderful when you do actually use it as a hurricane, it does Mm -hmm. make the light brighter. And since we don't have lights on our back porch right now, the candles really need to brighten it up. It also protects protects your candles from being blown out by wind. Yes. So they're perfect for candles if you're outdoors, but there's so much more that you can use them for. I ha- I just have two beautiful hurricanes that are all, they're all glass and um, well mostly glass, and the bottom is a pedestal, and then it almost looks like a big, um, like snifter. You know, it, it it's mm-hmm. uh, uh, fluted at the top, narrow at the waist, and bulbous at the bottom. And the bottom is painted. The bottom rim is painted silver, just a little bit of silver. And I love, like at Christmas time, to fill it like a third up with snow, oh. and then stick like a little a, a white bottle, a big white bottle brush tree in it. You know, something like that. They're beautiful. Yeah. Well, the Mm -hmm. thing is about what we're talking about today, these hurricanes and glass containers, is that, you know, you sure you can take the path of least resistance and go to Pottery Barn or someplace or Home Goods and you can buy one. You could probably get it for a pretty good price or, you know, you might pay up words of $54, something like that for mm-hmm. a really nice chunky glass oh, yeah. cylinder, hurricane or more, or barn. more. But mm-hmm. he, you can go to thrift stores and estate sales and just, you have to think out of the box. There's going to be so much clear glass. I mean, think of all the flower arrangements that have been passed around, right? And, uh, and people just mm-hmm. think of it as, oh, a clear vase. Like, oh, that's kind of uninteresting and uninspired as a vase perhaps. And so they donate it, ends up a goodwill. And then there's a giant shelf of all this stuff. So if you encounter something like that, we want you to think out of the box. So if it's a vase with a flat bottom, we'll turn it over and put glue a finial on it and make it a cloche. Uh, oh, I love that idea. Yes. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a great idea. Or if it is one of those sort of you know, uh, as pear shaped hurricanes as Anita described, which, you know, may seem a little dated. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent in that have the same feeling about those being particularly dated because it's just like clear glass, right? But if you put an interesting, it because they're open on the top and the bottom, right? So if Mm -hmm, you put them on an mm -hmm, interesting mm -hmm. base and then you either go 
you know, kind of, you know, the the natural route with a candle or something like that, or you put something like willow balls or moss balls or snow or anything that you could put in there. Mm-hmm. Um, if you put it on an interesting base, it kind of changes the whole look. So I've done those. I found maybe I got maybe six of them at a yard sale and they were real big ones. And so in our last house, we had a ledge by our pool. And so I would line them along the pool with, you know, the battery operated candles and I couldn't oh, find bases. So I got the terracotta uh, pot, um, mm-hmm. you know, the bottoms, the, the, the sort of right, the plate that right. would terracotta pot would go yes, on, yes. the drip plate. And I spray painted them. At that time, I was using more of a bronze. So I spray painted them bronze, but I have now recently spray painted them gold. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that was coming. Yeah. And so they look super pretty. And oh. so now they have a base and it's an interesting base and you can tell, you know, it's not, you know, it has some sort of interesting texture to it. So that's a good way. And then another thing that you're going to see a lot of at Goodwills and places like that are the, um, the, the glass shades for chandeliers, whether it be a real oh, great vintage yes, chandelier yes. and mm-hmm. somehow it's shades got separated or even those, you know, those brass ones that there's so many of. And and over the course of time, people broke one or they lost some and somehow they just have these glass things. Like, what are you going to do with those? Well, that's a little mini hurricane. And some of them are etched. So they kind of have this really sweet mm. little vintage thing oh, going on. Yeah. Yes. You could do the same thing with that. And even you could do like a little jar lid or something could be mm-hmm. the base. And then you could put littler candles in there. Well, my oh. favorite new thing to put in cloches or a hurricane, you could use it in whatever, even maybe a big truffle glass piece it, or one of these hurricanes. Is the copper lights with the LED? Oh, yeah. The, the fairy- copper yes. wires with the yes. LED lights, the battery ones. So they yeah. look like fairy lights. And but you have yes. to be careful because I have some fairy lights from before, mm-hmm. and they were on green wire and a very cold blue harsh light. And oh, I don't like those. Awful, awful. Mm-mm, I'll never mm-mm. use those again. This year, I bought the copper wire ones with the warm yellow, yellow. light. Yellow, mm-hmm. just stunning. And a lot of them have. Uh, a timer on them, or you can mm-hmm. get them with a remote. So mm-hmm. there's lots of options for those, and they're mm-hmm. beautiful. And a, a, a good option to fill um, something like a hurricane or any kind of big glass container it, for winter, I think of filling it with pine cones. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you can do this so with these lights. Textural and warm and beautiful. You can do the lights absolutely with, with the pine cones or whatever seasonal thing you have in there. Or even just the lights by themselves. But I think, you know, she's on to something. Definitely, Yvonne, I love putting the seasonal things in there, and mm-hmm. especially something from nature where you can just fill it up with pine cones. And the other thing is, if you don't have it that full, if you're just having one or two things in your cloche, maybe like a figurine, and it's not something organic from the yard, I like to, like we said, we were talking about elevating it on a little pedestal. Mm-hmm. The reason you want to do that is because you don't want a tall cloche with a short thing in it. It feels empty. It does. It, so the, if you the have scale something- is really off. Right. So mm-hmm. that it needs to, your item in the cloche or hurricane glass or whatever needs to be scaled properly. So if mm-hmm. you're putting something short, be sure to put it on a pedestal or some books or something to get its height up a little bit. So true. And, you know, here's another thing uh, when we're talking about, because I know it's winter time. So here's a really um, pretty way to use them. I have glass cubes and I have four of them and I'm going to go get two more. And if you fill them, maybe like a third of the way with kosher, um, big kosher salt, it looks like ice crystals. And then you take just like bare, some bare, small branches, like small, you know, maybe a foot or two feet. And you almost make like a little scene with all these branches with these cubes of salt, like lined up. It looks so pretty. Do you get what I'm saying? Cubes. I'm not sure. Like I'm, I have I'm glass, not getting the cubes of. I've salt. got glass cubes that are yeah. opened at the top. Okay. I have four of them. I'm one. And oh, oh, mm-hmm. like you put in a wall. No, no, honey. They're just just glass containers that are cube shaped. Okay. okay. You know that look like a cube that are square, and they're they're opened at the top. And I have four of them, and I got them at the pottery my pottery barn outlet. So I'm going to go back and get two more, and then I'm going to put kosher salt, like thick 
grain kosher salt in the bottom of each one, like about third full, and then get, I have tons of um, trees outside, get some just little branches. So it looks like it's a snowy landscape with a bunch oh, of I get trees. It now. So now why do you use the salt versus mm-hmm. I know at other times you use the snow? Because the snow doesn't hold, it can't hold your branches up. Yeah, it's not. Oh, so the branches or up. Epsom mm-hmm. salts. They might it's not some, be heavy enough either. Something that's heavy and you can, you can um, uh, fill it. So the one side is a little fuller than the other. So it almost, when you put them together, it looks like a snowy landscape. Oh, that's so charming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds nice. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Yeah, there's just so many fun things to do. And here's another thing I love to do is I'm crazy about succulents and I'm I'm learning how to propagate them as we speak. They're very easy to propagate. I didn't think they were. They're very, very easy. But I just want to make sure I can propagate them properly before I do a a blog post on it. But just even if you have little, like those, (laughs) I love those we... um, uh, yogurt jars that we talk about that we love. Oh my gosh. And yeah. They wouldn't... need to sponsor us too. We're selling a lot of those. Oh. <laughs> well, first of all, yeah, I, I have, emails about those. Mm-hmm. Oh I have to tell you, I'm not a, fran- a fan of um, Greek yogurt. And that's such a shame because I, I love tangy things, but I don't know why, but I love the thickness of it. Well, this we is, is a French yogurt and it's very thick like that, but it's got the most gorgeous taste. But if you take those little jars wouldn't a couple little succulents in them, planted in them, mm-hmm. look mm-hmm. adorable? So adorable. Right. And if it's some plant that doesn't 
mind moisture that holds up well in moisture, you can always put a plant under a cloche. Mm -hmm. If it's a succulent, you want to do something that's open on the top. Yeah, exactly. The moisture, you know, they, it likes to, the Mm -hmm. succulents like to dry out. Although, yeah, Kelly can speak to that more. She's our plant Mm -hmm. expert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can do, um, the forcing the paper white bulbs and other Mm -hmm. things like that. So my 40 paper white bulbs literally (laughs) came on a slow boat from China. It took, you know, they were probably, probably in such great demand this time of year. It took a month for them to come. No, I could see the tracking. They got, no, literally they got on a boat in China. Oh, they are. That's what I'm telling you. It, I could see the tracking. They were from China, but everyone was raving about these on, on Amazon. So I thought, well, I'll try them. And it took a month, but they just got here and the neighbor brought over the box and said, Oh, I think these are for you. And of course they were rain. (laughs) The rain got the boxes just soaking wet because it rained that night. So looks like I'm planning them. So I'm thinking about something like a big cylindrical. Container. I'm trying that to decide. That would be so beautiful. I know I have the big wooden tub that we had talked about, the mm-hmm. trough, but mm-hmm. it's already so heavy. I can't imagine filling that with rocks and paper whites. So if you have some suggestions, I need a container. Oh, I put it in a, some, a big cylindrical glass container. And well, I got those, two at the farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe and I'll let those, those because they grow up high and yes. you have to have something so they don't flop over. Right. I, I've used ribbon and mm-hmm. a stick before, but yes, well, you're right. You, they, but I would... I'd but in the glass, the it would hold them in place. So yeah, but you're right. Also, I would spray paint some some thin branches white because it's winter and stick those in. And those also will ha- look so pretty and help them stick upright. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. And we're talking a- about branches. Right. One of my favorite things to do in a big cylinder of some kind is force like big branches of something. Now we have lots of forsythia, but forsythia is very, um, it's not, it's not branchy. They're very thin individual, um, um, twigs and they're very long and they're very pliable, but I go, this is the one time I go to, um, oh gosh, Aeropostale has it. What's that called? It's a, I go to a garden center that carries things like flowering branches of quince and I mean, just beautiful things, cherry blossoms, and they're big and they're heavy and they look gorgeous in a big, heavy glass cylinder. Oh yeah. I have a whole chapter in the book about forcing branches and it was such a beautiful chapter to be able to write because I was buying all these branches. And the 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 beauty of the mark. The beauty of forcing them really is in the branch itself. You want to see that branch. You need a pretty branch. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Because yeah. you're going to yeah. be with the branch for a little while before things start to happen. Yeah. But Anita, but getting I back to your paper whites, if you have a tall glass cylinder, mm-hmm. and obviously not mm-hmm. a hurricane with the bottom, right. don't put inches and inches and inches of pebbles. Only put some pebbles, enough mm-hmm. for the roots to come down. Mm-hmm. And then the stems that are growing up will be encased inside the cylinder and then the flower heads will come out so, <gasps> doesn't that sound gorgeous so, you know it's a little more modern looking like you could see the oh so the you're saying plant them lower it. in the oh container. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. get yeah. a big mm-hmm. tall so if it's tall and narrow cylinder, mm-hmm. and maybe you only put you know three or five bulbs in there but that mm-hmm. could look really pretty mm-hmm yeah, I wanted one really big container but I can't I don't know that I'm gonna find one because I it's a lot of bulbs, but I like the big display. I think that's what makes them so stunning is when well, you have Well, what about so containers many. of different sizes, like go, glass containers going down your your um, island? I Wouldn't used silver gorgeous? last year, silver gravy boats, silver bowls. Oh. I used a lot of silver containers that were beautiful. Mm-hmm. So I might do that. I have a bunch of silver mm-hmm. bowls. I'm trying to decide. I'm just looking around and I was trying not to buy anything. So we'll see. Well, just I, go to the thrift store. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, you're going to find so well, much Well, I know I haven't, been, I haven't had time, darling, but maybe tomorrow. Let me tell you another. If, if you get glass candles a la Yankee Candles, they don't have to be that brand. If at the, at when, you're, when it's done, make sure that you um, – I use just a, a, a butter knife and I break up the wax in it and really give it a good cleaning. You've got an instant – instant glass container. 
Oh, right. Yeah, they're nice. Well, I'll tell you what I saw on Pinterest that I really want to do, and this isn't glass, so I guess I shouldn't be saying this, but <laughs> since that's the episode today. <laughs> you but are not I, sticking to topic, Anita. <laughs> I know I'm not, but I'm still going to say it anyway. That's all right. Go ahead. Off-road, baby. A silver punch bowl. Wouldn't that be stunning? Filled with paper whites. Yes. 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 She's stuck on her paper. She can't, that would she be can't gorgeous. focus now. That's okay. I love I, that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I've lost focus. Mm-hmm. You've lost me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, here's another thing that um, I just got sort of an idea. This was a few years back and I wanted, I wanted a, a tall glass container that was filled with something black and white. And I just didn't know for, for inside a bookcase. I bought um, bingo balls. Oh. With the numbers on them. So cute. How oh fun. Oh, my god! Where did you find bingo balls? On Great Amazon. Idea. Hey, what do we say? Amazon rules the world. I mean, you can buy anything <laughs> yeah, that on is Amazon. Um, it's amazing and, what you mm-hmm. find there. I know. But they look so cute in just a tall glass cylinder with all these do they look black like and white balls. Ping pong balls? Yeah, they're about ping pong. They're about that size. See, I have yeah. some old bingo mm-hmm. things, and they're wooden balls. In- no, oh. no, they're oh, all I'd love they're to antique. get my hands on those. Yeah, but no, they were black and just black and white. They're the cutest things ever. And then one when my my son was a baseball player since he was like five, and he played um, in college for a while, all the way up through. And I just every time I found old baseballs. Either at a garage sale, wherever. Oh, I love that. Like his idea. first baseballs that he just would throw and they just get so motley. I didn't clean them up. And I just put them in a big jar with the lid on it. What and a I, cute idea. So and I just, charming. I just was, and it was in his room. I just was visiting him a couple of weeks ago and um, they let us sleep in their bedroom because we were complaining about like, uh, we just, you know. We'll sleep oh, on is that the, air the, room, the bed where you sleep backwards? No, no, no. This Normally? is the good bed. This is the Casper. Oh! <laughs> no, okay. this is like my and and like my sons had hip, you know, um, uh, his, uh, his pelvis cut apart and all this kind of stuff. And I said, you know, you need that good bed, son. You know, and uh, they couldn't, they didn't want to hear it. So we slept in their room and on his dresser was his jar of baseballs. Oh, well, I know. I Do I a- like have, I know I have like the best son in the world. Yeah. Shout out you to like- Christopher. Shout you out to do. Christopher. Best son yeah. and best But I mean, husband. for heaven's sakes, he saved those since he was, I just kept adding to them since he was a little boy. I thought it was so cute. <laughs> well, I have a big glass jar of my mother-in-law's little metal, and I guess they're aluminum. They're very shiny silver, and they look really beautiful. I they're baking tins and oh, I love those little baking jello like molds, tins. and they're different tart tins. That's what they are. Tart oh, tins. that would be so. Some are shaped like donuts. Some are shaped like, and then there's other, and then there's some cookie cutters too. I think she had. I'm going to copy of- that. Thank you for that tip. And oh, I love I need decorating to send you a picture tips of it. and tricks. It looks Real. so cute. Well, and it's I've huge. Got, I've got an empty, big glass container with a lid sitting out, just sitting out with my other ones. I usually keep three or four. And I, I had used all the, I forget what I even had, um, um, granola. And I used that and I thought, oh, I'll put it back up. And I'm thinking, what could I put in it? I'm going to put like my little tart pans and uh, like, mm-hmm. like minis. That's such a good she idea. She had so many little buffets all the time. I mean, little ladies luncheons. Oh. I mean, ladies luncheons, you know, with the little sandwiches. So she had yeah. these little cut, cookie cutter things to cut the sandwiches. Oh, sweet. Oh. And the now, little- you know, when the hosts get all these tips, <laughs> That's right. we love what we do because I, can't I wait. know we do There's so many ideas. Like I can't wait. And we're, I have a dinner to go to tonight. Believe me, by the time I'm, I, we stop taping and I go to my dinner and, and get dressed and go to the dinner, I'll have that thing full of little cute little tart pans and things like that. Well, what oh. happens is when I'm decorating during the days, I hear your voices in my head. So I hope oh. for you listening that, that you're hearing voice, you're getting ideas. We want to like, be the voice in your head. Well, yeah, we want to be your secret source where you have all these mm-hmm. ideas and people are like, you're brilliant. And you don't have to tell them it's from That's us. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Clean out your closet. Then head straight to Quince. 
I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt and because you're all brilliant too and we love getting your emails and telling us how you riffed off our tips yeah. or you use our tips that's the best when yeah. we get it is somebody who says hey look at this vignette i did or look at this pillow arrangement they take a picture mm-hmm. and they give it to us and believe me we are all ooing and awing oh yes yes, yes. you know now back yes. to these glass Impressive. containers the thing uh-huh. is and what you what you're saying is it's a wonderful place whether it be medium or large to display sort of maybe little odd collections that just make you happy, like your vintage button collection. Or remember I showed you guys, I texted you from that yard sale that I got that those two (gasps) boxes of threads, the wooden. Oh, oh, I've got ball jars with, with Mm -hmm. some threads. So I put them all into this sort of round lidded, um, glass jar that I have and I just love to see them. so you could see different oh, it's ones gorgeous. and you can see the names you know printed on them and you can tell that it's wood and all the different colors and I just love looking at those now if I had that collection and I was just on the shelf somewhere or in a shoe box when would I get to enjoy it but there it is in a glass jar and it's in a place that I can see it and I can enjoy it. That is really a lovely way to enjoy what you have. I love, love, love the idea of using glass containers as part of your decor. And here's something else. Um, I saw what the movie, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. Um, And I love, I just love that house. Like there's some certain houses that, you know, you just love the house. And that was one of them. And do you remember she collected white stones on the beach? Yes. Oh, And she put them into a, but she, she had like a, a bowl, I think it was. I love that idea. So when we went to Bar Harbor, I collected, they had on the bar, these really smooth stones. And I put them in a tall glass cylinder and they look so pretty. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that is a lot. And it's a nice memory when you were there mm-hmm. and it's, it has a nice natural look to it. I love that. Well, I think we have talked a lot about these containers. 
I know. <laughs> it's been fun. I love hanging out with you. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go fill my, my one in my kitchen. Yeah. Everybody go fill a container and mm-hmm. then take a picture. I, I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to go to the thrift store. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you will have yes. no problem finding things. <laughs> That's for like right. No, they're closed bucks. for the day. I'll have to go tomorrow. Mm. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with us. This is our the highlight of our week. We enjoy hanging out with you. We're so happy you're here. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.